everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on no man's land and I've got a lot to work to do. It is the sixth day of spring. Okay, the last episode, it was the middle of the winter. It is the sixth day of spring. I, I've been really, really busy um, with my work schedule and all kinds of stuff, other stuff that I've been doing, and I just have not had time to play as much as I wanted to on the server. I have been taking care of my animals. In fact, I have the greatest news ever. We have a baby cow. A little baby cow. Well, this one right here. A uh, oh, 89 pound newborn. I'm so excited. And we have milk, 39 liters of milk. So we now have milk being produced. That is good news. There's a lot of stuff I want to do today. Um, tons and tons of stuff to do today. In fact, I, I gotta look here. This may be added to the list. Uh, no, we can't plant corn yet. So that's that's the only good thing. It's mid-spring, and the ground temperature is not warm enough yet. That'll be okay, because then we can do that um, different day. Right now, I gotta get the I gotta get the cows fed. Speaking of cows, this little right here, this, uh, um, actually, we'll come back to that. I gotta find it. I gotta write it down somewhere. Someone translated that for me. Right there. Somebody translated that for me, and I need to find it. Oh, did we run out of feed? Let's see how much we gave. Uh, they're in the green. That's okay for now. We, won't, we don't need to mix more right now. I'm almost out of straw. I got straw in the hay loft got some straw in the loft but uh um not yet looking <laughs> like weasel oh hello it's time to mow. yeah it is everything is uh is getting close to being ready i don't think it's quite time to mow no it's still yellow it's yep one more transition so uh, we'll be mowing hay in the next coming episodes so i hope everybody's been doing well been doing great like I said I've been real real busy and um, have, have, have just had a lot going on in in my life so I haven't been able to play as much as I want so let's see what we I don't even, we we need to spray all right so we have to spray we have to spray for weeds that needs to be done we need to we took care of the cows that needs to be done we got to get the greenhouses up and running that needs to be done and we need to expand our farm. I have $195,078 and we need to expand our farm. So first things first, we're going to buy that section right there. Boom, $85,000 gone. And I'll show you what we're going to be doing with that. Uh, hopefully I can get to it with this episode. If not, we will definitely get to it in another one. Also, what is going on uh, in the next couple episodes, uh, not this one, but I should be recording tomorrow, start recording farm tours. And we're going to be going around to the other farms and doing tours. Also need to show you town. We need to do a tour of town because uh, Gizmo and some other and Nostalgic and other people have been building in town. You can see over there all those houses. I mean, they've been expanding greatly. And we will get to that uh, hopefully this episode. If not in this episode... Uh, definitely a later one. I'll fit in as much as I can in the 30 minutes that I can, and we will do that. All right, so the cows cows are fed. Uh, let's get some water, and we're going to drop some straw in there. Um, I'm doing straw now because they have been, uh, they're going to produce milk, so I want them at their most optimum for that. Grab, my, grab the dudes here bucket uh, my plan is uh, eventually we're gonna get rid of this small the small cattle farm um, it's it's nice it works great I just don't like how small it is um, I just don't think it looks realistic it's just kind of tiny there's no pasture land there's no way you fit 100 cows in that building it's insane to think that so we're gonna be putting down the big nostalgic farmer one and probably in this episode we're going to put that down and then uh, go from there so that's my plan oh, what am i doing i don't need manure i needed straw I'll get manure here in a minute At this rate i'll never get anything done 
frame rate. It's 50s. Server. Servers. Okay. Alright, no. Okay. We're okay then. I said we are. This might be the last scoop of straw out of the shed. And then. I have an open contract for straw. I put it out on the market. Uh, speaking of contracts, I need to pay Jamberry. I've got an invoice from him that we need to... i got all kinds of stuff to do. Tons and tons and tons of work. This may, uh, may turn into two episodes. So we'll be getting to farm tours very soon. I want to get that done. A lot of stuff that I want to get done. Sorry, cows. Don't mean to run over you, but you are kind of in the way. And I'm happy because we have milk. Yay! Making milk! Let's see, is that... Yeah, that'll be alright. That'll get them going. That's enough to keep them happy for the moment. Close this. Let's get our... While we have our bucket. Get our greenhouses up and running. Like I said, I hope everybody is doing great. Server's running well. I I did a update. We added some de deco stuff. Um, some different fences. Some different placeable. All deco stuff. Um, so I'll hopefully be using some of that. Adding some fences and stuff like that. Once I'm making money and I have plenty of money. That's what I plan on spending my money on. Is getting all the fences up and running. And doing things like that. Let's get a scoop here. I'm just going to get both of these running. I'll, I'll top them off later, off camera. Because like I said, we have a lot to do, lot to do today. It's, yeah, there's a spring that's got to get done. Man, a lot of stuff to do. These greenhouses hold 6,000 of both manure and water. And they last about 24 hours of in-game time before you have to reload them. That's something we may change. We may change the consumption rate, but reduce the income they give you. Because they pay out pretty well. Pay out. Pretty good. Make a good chunk of money from them. Man, I can't believe it's in the middle of the spring already. Just like floored how quick time is going. Yeah, I just haven't haven't had time. I haven't had time to uh, to get on the server. Have not had time. Oop. Let's do this. Let's grab our. I, thought, I think there's water in here, and if there is, that's great because I'm just going to put a little bit in each one to get them going. Then we're going to spray. Take care of some weeds. And then after that, maybe do some building. Hoping to do some building. I'm not going to spend 30 minutes spraying weeds. It's just kind of silly. You guys kind of get the gist of it. You know what I'm doing here. Like I said, I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've been on the server. I know some people don't like the big gaps, but... I mean, this, this server does not stop for anybody. It just keeps on running whether I got time to play it or not. And I have to hire people to do things. And, uh, here we go. Alright, so our greenhouses are up and running. They're partially filled, but that's alright because they're going to start generating some income for us. Let me shut this off. And, real quick, let me grab this invoice from Jamberry. I think it's invoice of 4,500. Let me find it here. Oh, hang on. Let me, let me go in the house here. I'm sure they're... Oh! Lagging. Server lag. Alright. Jamberry. Jamberry. Let's pile here somewhere. There it is! Let's pull it up here. $4,500. That was from Slurry that I had him spread at the end of last year onto the fields. Um, and if you look, all of our fields are fully fertilized except for the corn fields. So I don't have to do any fertilization, just spraying for weeds, which is what we're going to knock out. Yep, 4500 bucks. so 
Let me jump in here and pay Jamberry for this. <laughs> All right, so that has been paid. $4,500 paid. All right, now what do we got over here? I, okay, so what else has happened? I sold a bunch of my silage. I actually sold, um, I only have a, this is Jamberry silage right here that he, he's, he rented my bunker. So I sold a bunch of silage. We only have 150,000 liters left, and that's all I need right now. I sold a bunch of it to Village. Village bought. Um, about 280,000 liters or something like that. Everybody, like Weasel says hello. So he bought a lot of, uh, a lot of silage. All right. Those are running. Let's grab our spraying rig. I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut off here. Let's jump in our spraying rig. The fancy dancy dudes. I gotta wait here somewhere. There's my old beat. A little old wait. And then we'll get to the fields and start spraying. Probably shouldn't pronunciate my words better. Spraying. Sorry, folks, that was Appalachian for you. Do I have any herbicide in here? Not much. I have 3,000 liters, so we're going to have to run up to the farm store real quick. Is that gallons? We might be okay. 2,872 gallons. I keep... Okay, no. Liters. But that's alright. Let's grab... Um, do this big field last. Let's run up here to the top of the hill. Start spraying the hay fields. Yeah, over here we're gonna put a big, big cow pasture. That's my plan to put there. It's a nice big whopping cow pasture. Oh, learn to drive. I've been playing, um, playing Snow Runner. So I'm used to kind of correcting quickly. So I don't have to really do that so much in a tractor. Let's get up here on this field. I think let me look let me look and see how bad the weed weeds are up here. You know what? The weeds aren't really bad on this field. Just have a couple spots here and there. Mm. Weeds aren't too bad there. You know what? I think. I think I'm going to save the money on the herbicide, and we'll we'll just spray the canola, we'll just top dress the canola, because so I just don't think we'll have too much yield loss. I'm not so worried about the hay because we have all this grass here that has to be mowed now because we just bought it, so we're going to have plenty of plenty of grass. So I'm not too worried about that. C, control S, show lines, get this unfolded. Auto bits. Right. Guess we need to raise that so we're not dragging the crop. Away we go. We're spraying. I love canola. Canola is beautiful. Look at it. Remember in 17 when like the crop would come up through the floor of the tractor? Now it kind of bends under. Oh man, and that's so cool. This game is getting just awesome. Love this game. It's the best 
game ever. I don't know. Red Dead Redemption is pretty good. Red Dead 2, I loved it. Oh, I put a little road in right here. See his? And then eventually I'm going to extend... I was going to extend the road up here, but actually it's going to cut up through those rocks. I plan on buying that chunk of land there. Doing a little something with it at some point. And then I think I'm done buying land once I get all that purchased and then I, I'm, I'm done for a little while I'm just going to focus on and I'm not doing that for a while after I get my new um, my new cattle pen put in I'm going to just focus on expanding the herd and adding uh, adding more and more cattle see how many cows we get remember my goal my goal is um, it's 500 400 dairy cows and 100 beef that's my goal. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna stay busy. Definitely, definitely stay busy. Is this working? Although there's no weeds over here. Wow, this canola looks so good. Looks so good. Yellow, that field over there is blooming. And you can see it way over there in the distance. That's Gizmo's farm way over there on the other side of town. So I've been making plans. I'm kind of planning stuff in my head. How, how I want to do stuff. Um, like I said, I want to expand this yard a little bit by adding a larger cow pasture. And I think the best way to do that is to use this section over here. And eventually I want to get rid of a couple buildings. Um, that cow pasture is that, that small cow barn I really want to get rid of. Sure. That might be the only one. And if that's the case, I might put another shed there. And then just all this over here will be nothing but cattle land on that side. That's what I'm thinking. We'll get this field sprayed, and then we'll build the new section. That's what we'll do. We'll get the new cattle barn built. I guess I can go in cab. Why not? Just using cruise control to drive. We're still having connection issues on the server. Don't know why. Couldn't begin to even tell you. Um, it's still happening. It took me like six times to log on. No errors. None in the log. None on my, none on my side. None on the server side. Uh, other than that, there's some warnings about brand names and some stuff like that. But that's... That's it. <laughs> Jimper, late hello to everyone. Excuse me, I was browsing the menu. No worries there, Jam. No worries at all, buddy. We need to cult... I gotta cultivate? Because I don't think my planner... Um, here. Pretty sure my nope. Nope, my planter doesn't direct seed. So I need to cultivate those lands there. Oh, I got so much work to do. So much work to do. But that's alright, because tonight I should be able to work without interruption for a few hours and get a lot of this stuff knocked out. That's my plan. And uh, be able to record some episodes here in spring. Said I'm not going to record a whole whole lot of uh, the field work stuff. So I forgot village put a field here. Um, it's got a grass field that comes down now. So I can't. I really don't. I don't need. To, I need to be polite and not turn around in this field. Be a, a good neighbor. I need to do. So the next couple episodes, I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take one episode. Um, some people have asked. I'm going to take one episode, and we're going to go down the mod list that I have installed. So I will be doing that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go to my start load up screen, and I'll pull up the list, all the mods that we have loaded in, and I'll show you each one of those. Um, almost everything is from the in-game mod hub. The only exception to that is Nostalgic Farmers buildings that he made himself 
and those are from oddhoster.com. And then, of course, the grain elevator, which is behind the trees over there, that Village 80 made. So we do have that. Let's, uh, let's fold that up. That field is sprayed. Look at it. It's just beautiful. It looks great. All right. Cows are fed. Greenhouses are running. Weeds are sprayed. You gotta do weeds over here, which we'll get there. Uh, here momentarily. But what I wanted to do real quick before the end of this episode is let's go ahead and build our other cow pasture. So we have this from this big one right here, right here. Large cattle barn from Nostalgic Farmer. And I really like this one. It's got a nice big pasture and it's kind of got a more modern looking cow shed. Now the only question is, is where do I want to put it? And I think the way I'm going to do it is like this. And I'm going to bring a road kind of down through there, right in front. And then the other cow pasture will go off the back. That is my plan. You know me, i got to look at it ten times before I place it. And then we can kind of expand this area in front right here. Um... There's more yard, maybe. Let's see. Because the manure will go over there. I think that's probably the best place for us to put it. I think. I think it is. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's just drop it in. Plopped it. It is there. $40,000 spent on the new cow barn. We're going to take a look at it. Looks glorious. Looks beautiful. I probably should have cleared out the grass. I'll fix all this stuff. I'll, I'll do some painting and get all this stuff fixed up. We got this. Um, this Now we have this storage area. Which is nice. We can definitely use this for some storage. Maybe eventually put up some bales. Our milk will go in there. We've got water here. This thing holds 400 cows, which is going to work out great. In fact, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer, um, I'm gonna transfer all my cows out of there over to this one. Maybe. I haven't quite decided yet. Works great. And like I said, I'm going to paint. I got to fix this road. <laughs> I ruined the road, um, but yeah, I'm going to kind of bring the road right through here, right next to this, kind of an open area. Love the fence. It's got like this old, old wooden fencing. Grass in here for the cows to eat. Excellent. I like it. Turned out well. In fact, let's jump in here. Finish. We'll take the last couple minutes doing some painting. Wrong dirt color. It's always the wrong dirt color, Raz. You always pick the wrong dirt color. Why why does my phone always go off? <laughs> I'm recording. There, that's the right dirt. Let's fix this. And some um, yeah. probably make all this dirt through here. All this stuff dirt. It will leave a couple grass patches, but for the most part, this is all dirt. Right through here. Kind of bring this in. Let's make our. And I guess we'll bring a road down in through here. The greenhouses. Yeah, let's see, it, I probably should have painted all this in dirt before I placed it, but that's all right. That's okay. Everything will work out just fine. In fact, we'll kind of make a big swinging area here. 
Here I am building again. See, we did a little farm work today. <laughs> Just like that. Now here, I don't know what we'll do with this little patch. Um, come up with something. Um, I'm sure we're going to need it for some storage or some other things of that nature. Um, maybe maybe even just make a little field here. You know, we use up all the space we have. Definitely, our, I'm you know, maybe even kind of relocate our yard a little bit, maybe. Because this shed drives me nuts, too. This thing. It really irks me that the snow is on top of there. At first, it didn't bother me, but the more and more, it's starting to bother me. So... Either I'm going to go into the mount itself and make some changes, or we're just going to have to live with it. I have to live with it. Or we just sell that shed and put down a different one. Maybe we can sell this shed, this one right here, and then build another one here. The yard's kind of spread out like that, though. That's the only thing is I, I wanted it. I don't want it too big. Like kind of the smaller looking sheds. Over here we have this little drive through area. Spend more money on uh, ground texture changes than anything else. Again, I don't know what we'll use this little area for. You know, we just probably just plant trees in there. That's another thing. Someone requested that I plant trees. Uh, I will. I will be request. I will be planting some trees. We'll plant in some trees here along the house. Maybe some back here. Um, you know, eventually we'll probably need another silage bunker if we have that many cows. So that might be here. Might have to put another silage bunker in. Um, definitely. Got this little. We got this little lean to back here. We got all kinds of room for stuff now. Tons and tons of room. For stuff. This until we get our big cow pasture. This is all going to be hayland. We'll, we'll plow this stuff in. Plow this stuff in, and uh, we'll be using that for hay. I want to use uh, the bill stacks mod. Probably needs to come around through there like that. Put because you know cows make cows walk around. Got little paths they go everywhere here and there as they walk. I know we're taking the grass away that they can eat, but that's okay. Get this grass out from underneath here. So this is a kind of a large congregation. Yeah, it's a start. Like I said, I'll be cleaning this up, be doing some other stuff to it. All right, we have our new cow barn. Definitely, definitely have our new cow barn. Um, yeah, wow, this thing is big. I'm excited for it. I'm definitely excited and we'll be changing up the yard some. I may go ahead and get rid of this shed. The more and more I think about it, um, may do that. So you may be the next time, the next time I'm in here, you may see some major, major changes to the farm. So, uh, yeah, that may happen. I'm thinking. Yep, this is going bye bye. This shed's going bye bye. Um, not right now. This one's going away for sure. I'm going to get rid of this shed for sure. And oh, we'll put in here. Maybe we'll just kind of extend the field out for now. I don't know. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. But thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay tuned to the next coming episodes. We'll be doing some farm tours. We're going to be doing that and um, some other stuff that that people have requested. Uh, I do read all the comments, I do. Um, 
fact, let me find this real quick. I'm, I was ill prepared for this. Um, playlist, no man's land. I think it was, yeah. Number four. Let's go down to the comments. Sorry. See, so yeah, I'm, 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 I was ill prepared. This. Because I have, I have the translation for, um, for the signs over here in German. So this yellow sign here, and this is compliments of Roger Walser. Roger, thank you so very much. Thank you for watching and thank you for taking time to comment. And let me know what those. So this says, uh, translates to valuable cows. That's what that is. And then, um, there's another one. Okay. And then this right here, this mit den, I'm not even going to try to say it because I'm going to butcher it. This says, with hands, with the hands in the pockets, you can't milk the cows. <laughs> That's what that says. With the hands in the pockets, you can't milk the cows. And again, that was Robert Walser who translated that. Thank you so very much. Um, I also got corrected numerous times that this is not dudes. It's just my Appalachian American in me saying dudes. This is Deutz. D-O-Y-T-Z. Deutz. I'm probably still saying it wrong. That's Deutz far. Not Deutz far. But Deutz. So for those people who made that comment, there is the correction. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, stay safe. See you next time.